All right, tubers. So I'm working on the old 95 here. I'm putting some body dampeners on it. Um, I've done done my back ones, but I'm gonna show you what's involved uh, because I couldn't find anything about this and I've done got this one loose here. Um, what you'll need is a jack, jack stands. And me, since I'm on uh, uh, dirt, I just put some plywood down so I could move around easier. Um, but I got my new mounts here. Let's see. These are the front ones right here, yeah. Yeah, these are the smaller ones. These are the back ones. So, there's your front ones. And there's your back ones, the big... Let me get them out and I'll show you. Alrighty. Let's see here. Okay, so these are your, your, big, your front ones under the radiator. They're little, smaller compared to these. You can see the uh, see the difference. I'm trying to hold the phone at a different weird angle. You can see the size comparison. These ones are smaller. Now, like I said, I've done done the back ones, and they're all about the same. Um, I don't I didn't have to replace none of the bottom ones on this one, just the top ones because they were crushed and hard as a rock on some of them. But what you need is a 18 millimeter socket. Um, and I actually had my uh, impact, wherever it's at, it's over there. Uh, and you just loosen this up and make sure you got your jack under here because if not, this whole cradle will, will fall on you. It'll just, so you have to jack it up or loosen, let it down as you need it. Um, you just take this out. These are some pretty long bolts. And your cup will come out with it. Or, excuse me, your flat washer. And see, these, these are the front ones in the top. They aren't, they are fine. Just like the back ones, they were fine. The top one, however, I don't know if you can see it. And I'll show you a picture later. It's, it's hard as a rock. And there's no support these i mean these you can crush them see you can you can move them around the other ones uh these you can't hardly push them in and that's where i'm getting a lot of body vibration um so anyway i'll show you how to take them out in here in just a second okay so what you'll need to do is you'll need to take your jack right here and loosen it just a little bit see it coming down i'm tighten it up and make sure i got about about an inch of clearance is about all I need. You might need a little bit more. Uh, but you're going to need like a flathead screwdriver or something to get up in here and press. And you'll have to press this metal piece out the top. And uh, I'll show you when I get about halfway through that. I'll show you. Okay. So the camera focuses here. What I'll do is I'll take the screwdriver on top of the washer and just pull it forward. Or pull down on it, rather. And you can see that thing just scoot up on up in there. And you just work that back and forth till you get it out. All right, so I got it out. Oh, well, my camera won't, won't focus. There we go. So here's the old one. There's your top cup. Um, you have to line this back up with the way that oval space, space is inside that washer. But like I said, I'm not going to be replacing this one because it's super soft still. Um, since this is the old one right here, you should be able to... <coughs> here's, the, here's the new one. See, I can squeeze this one. It's super soft and flexible. This one, however, ah, it is taking a lot, and I can't even get that top right here to crush in. I can get the bottom. It takes a lot of strength to do that, but it's not doing the top. Not like the new one. You know, the new one, you sit there and bend it and all that stuff, you know. So, anyway. I'll put this, um, you need to put the, uh, the ring, 
And what I mean by the ring, you got this little lip right here, and you put it down in the cup. And just like that. Then you'll take and put it down in the washer, or the other part of the, let's see here. Okay, see, you gotta line it up like this. You line it right like that right there. And you push that and try to get that metal piece back down in the hole well, how like it was. I'll do that. I'll show you how it looks like. All right. So now that I got it in there, it's it's in there, but it's not bolted down because, like I said, you'll need your bolt. You know, it'll... I got to do the other side, but it'll go in just like that. And then you just jack it back up till it's flush. You'll have to jack your uh, cradle back up till this top of this washer meets the surface of the body and then you put your bolt in tighten it down um i'll show you that whenever i'm gonna go to the other side and i'll come back to this side and i'll show you tightening it down okay now they got that other one done we're gonna jack up on our handle here and watch it go up and then i'll get it flush Okay, now that we got that done, we'll stick our bolt in here. And then you just tighten it down, and that's it. That's all you do. Um, and like I said, I, ne I didn't have to replace none of the bottom ones on mine, uh, the four corners of them. Uh, and you see where I got my jack at. I got it on the front cross member. Um, air compressor's right there. Oil pan's there. And uh, it helps if you have this on a flat surface. Does awesome. Alrighty, well, that's all you do. Tighten it down. Let it back down and see if you got body vibration. And I will uh, show you that here in just a minute. Alright, y'all. Moment of truth. I know, it's, it's dirty. It's nasty. I know, I gotta clean it. Uh, let's see if we have any more body vibration. Oh, smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. There's no more vibration. Let's wait till it warms up and we'll see then. Till then, I won't put you on pause. Runs good. She's got a little, uh, valve for, uh, rocker arm rattle i can't tell what it is but it only does it when it's cold i think one of the maybe push rod might be stick up halfway clogged or something but sounds good Alrighty. well i can hear it a little bit but it's not bad uh it's nowhere near like it was so anyway yeah don't don't mind the the low oil light it's messed up Alrighty, well y'all take care. Have a good one.